And here I am a week or so later, actually it's about three weeks probably, um, and I had it up north, cleaned that place and took it down here and been running it pretty heavy. It's really not the way to do it, you should really run it more regular than I do. I end up running it in a batch of times, maybe six times, you know, all told. So I've done the same thing over again. I took a scissors, went along here and cut a few bands of hair. It wasn't that much hair on it. But you can see I still have to get this end picked free. It's awful here. That's the um, end that is turned by the machine. This end is the end you really got to watch. It sits in a little rubber uh, squeezer here to and it's just been turning in that. When it gets jammed up, it just turns between the rubber and the metal there, you know. It makes like a, forces a bearing sort of. But really there's a good bearing there. It's just jammed up with the uh, hair. They get way deep in there. And uh, see, it doesn't even want to turn. And uh, you can see it's a real bearing. Ball, sealed ball bearing. So I gotta find a needle somewhere and get underneath there and pick all that hair out again and get this turning again. I noticed it was not getting very good mileage on the battery. And that's usually what you gotta check is make sure something's not sapping your energy like this thing. And, uh, there's too much resist. you know, this is probably your biggest eater of uh, power, that or really clogged filter. You can almost tell from the sound that it's running okay. A little flutter in there, but you start getting a fluttering noise and you hear it kind of dragging, you know, getting jammed up.